Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7. Okay, I have a confession. It's not really day seven because yesterday was day seven and I forgot. No, I didn't forget. I was just too tired to film. But at least I'm making a video to fill up for that day. So this is the seventh vlog. It's not really the seventh day. And it's just been a really, really busy week and I'll tell you why later. But before that, I wanna tell you guys what I got from Japan and I'm so happy with all of it. And I'm gonna share with you First and foremost, my super favorite thing I got from Japan. No, I did not go there. I wish I did. I wish I could. Anyway, my brother lives in Japan right now and he came and visited us for five days. He's still here and he was like, so what do you guys want? And I was like, oh, Japan, I know what I want. I know what I want, I know what I want. Somebody else brought it for us before and a thank you, Anna. My first and most favorite item from Japan haul is, ta-da. Ichiran Ramen, Hakata style thin straight noodles including original red dry sauce, authentic tonkatsu ramen delivered to your home from the most dedicated tonkatsu ramen expertise in the world. Guys, he was not joking. Whoever wrote this, she, whatever. And there's five servings in one box. And let me show you what my brother decided to bring us. Yeah, baby, yeah! If you're watching this and you're coming to my house soon, no, no, you may not have any. So this should last us a really long time, about three days. Next thing that I asked for, and I'm really happy about this, oil cleansers from Muji. Now I have really dry skin, so I can't use any kind of facial wash because it dries out my face. And what I love about this oil cleanser, I don't know why we don't sell it in the Muji here in the Philippines. I don't have to use any makeup remover. I don't have to do anything with my face except use this. Like it thoroughly, it thoroughly, it thoroughly cleans my skin from a full face of makeup to nada, nada. So not only did I get one of these, but I got two huge bottles. The bottles, the bottle that I have now, I like really make it to bed because it's my extremely favorite thing and they don't sell it in the Philippines um, it's like half this size and not only get that not only get what is wrong with me you see I really need to sleep but I'm not sleeping because I'm doing this for the sake of you guys and for the sake of making money he also brought me this because he said it was right next to these things can you see it there you go like the makeup gurus on YouTube now I am using this it's a face scrub and I can't read anything else so next thing ta -da! Matcha Kit Kat. They come in these really cute individual packs. It says dear and from, so you can give these as a gift. So I haven't tried it yet, but I will. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, you'll be getting one for Christmas. Okay, next, 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 next. I also really like this because anything that is edible, I love. He brought us some Mitsuya Cider candy. It's so good, it's like apple cider. Well. There's apple and grape and orange, I'm assuming. Yeah, and something else, maybe a mystery? Because it's like outlined in silver. It's a mystery flavor? I don't know, it says something there. But they all taste delicious. Next, he brought us like a bunch of these bags, but for some reason when I opened the fridge, there was only one left. Rian, Audrey Bella, if you're watching this. But you know those jelly thingies that we have here and they're in like the, the plastic little cups and you have to open it and then you have to like squeeze it and sometimes you like cut your lips right here when you're trying to eat it. Yeah, these are super cool because it's the same thing but it's in these kinds of little packs. So it's just like a little plastic bag and then you rip this off and then you, I love how Japanese make things. Can you just not look at my nails right now? I love how Japanese make things. And lastly, I feel like he brought us more but maybe we ended up eating it all. This is also one of my other favorites because it's so good, especially with coffee. It is Hakata Makana Ichigo no Baked Cake. So I'm assuming Hakata Makana Ichigo no means strawberry. The strawberry baked cake and it's really good and I will show you what's left of it. Nothing. Just kidding. There are two pieces and I told the kids they're not allowed to eat them because they're mine. If you don't know, my favorite kinds of cakes are not chocolate stuff, but I love tarty cakes. Like I like key lime pie, the mango tart from Conti's, and I love the strawberry cake from Visco's. That is my super fave. We almost finished the entire thing the night 
we received it, which is like two nights ago. So that's it from my Japan haul. I didn't go there, but I got a lot of things from there. Thank you so much to my brother, Jobo. I'm so happy with everything. And I'll eat the second to the last one of these because I'm about to tell you something. I won't talk too much because I'm sleepy and I still need to film another video. So anyway, backtracking, as I was telling you guys earlier, yesterday I didn't get to film. It's not that I didn't get to, but I really chose not to. I was just so tired. I planned on it. And again, I had everything planned, but I was just so tired, like dead beat. And we were out that day and I've been doing a lot of things the past few days and I was just so tired. I planned on it. I had the things in my head, but I fell asleep while putting the kids to sleep and then when Lesser woke me up to move to our room I was just too tired, I just brushed my teeth and went to sleep On that night, I was giving all of the kids a bath and as I was doing that, I was giving one of them a bath and all of a sudden I just started feeling thinking of all the things I have to do thinking of all the things like deadlines that I have and then serving my family and then of course I want to host my brother super well because he's only here for a week everything that comes along with it cooking and, and cleaning and preparing and taking care of the kids and doing other things and taking care of the kids and doing other things and just being there with the kids so anyway as I was doing that I started feeling bad for myself and I was like gosh thinking of all the things I have to do and thinking about how tired I am and really basically like when you get down to it, to the nitty gritty, it was really just having pity on myself. And it didn't last very long before I felt like something just slapped me in the face and was like, why are you even thinking of this? Why are you even putting yourself in that situation? Like, and I realized, because first of all, when I have pity on myself, I just make myself feel worse. And second of all, when I have pity on myself, it kind of makes my situation seem and feel like it's so much worse than it actually is in real life and so I, I just caught myself and I just felt so comforted in that moment because it felt like God was telling me in that moment I just felt like he was assuring me that you're not alone you're, you think you're doing this alone you think you're handling the burden on your own you think that you have to do all of these things by yourself and the truth is a lot of the times i do i feel like you know the role of a mother nobody else can take from you and the things you have to do you really do have to do alone and it gets really tiring um it gets really hard because it's not something like for example when I'm vlogging I can just be like no I won't do it today because I'm too tired like you can't do that when you're a mom you can't just say I'm too tired to take care of the kids today sorry I felt like God was just reassuring me that you didn't make yourself a mother you didn't put yourself in this situation you didn't give yourself this life but I did I felt like that's what God was saying and he was like felt like he was just telling me you're I'm with you I give you strength I give you wisdom I give you the sustaining grace that you need every day to, to fulfill your duties as a wife, as a mom, and to, and to do everything you need to do. And, and I remember this scripture that I want to share with you moms if you're also feeling that way. It's in Isaiah 40 verse 28. It says, Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. And this just like gave me so much peace last night because it reminded me again that God is the creator. If God is the creator of the heavens and the earth, how much more is he the creator of my life? Not just me being brought to life, but every moment of my life. He's ordained every season of my life, including this one. Being a mom of three small kids, trying to be a vlogger. <laughs> He's the one who has given me this life and that gave me so much assurance. And in verse 29 where he says, He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength and that also assured me that I cannot do anything to give me more strength but I have a God who is the ultimate and unlimited source of strength who gives power to the faint who gives strength to the weary and because of that I can hold on to him and just say Lord today 
I'm tired. Today is hard. Today is not the best day. But I can go to him and you can go to him and say, Lord, you give me strength. So I'm going to stop now. I'm also going to finish this strawberry cake. That's all for you guys for Vlogmas Day 7. Again, it's not the seventh day, but it's the seventh vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I got a little emotional. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you've been following my Vlogmas vlogs, like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.